Hello, this is a quick tutorial about Canvas and using due dates and assignment or other item availability. So let's talk about assignments first. If I click on modules, I'm on module one and I'm going to add another assignment. Now it doesn't matter if this is a discussion assignment, you could do it as a quiz or an assignment type. So I give it a name, and so now I have the details of my assignment. So I put those details in this area here, whatever I want to, my sets of instructions. I give it some points. The submission type, whether or not it's going to be submitted uh, online so it goes directly to the gradebook, are they going to turn it in person, is it going to be maybe a, a presentation where they're going to submit it through an external tool, uh, one of the digital components that comes with a textbook, what have you. There's a lot of different options here. And then normally, and this is actually kind of good practice to identify when something is due by a due date. So let's say um, it's due December 3rd and it defaults to 11.59. You can change the time down here if 11.59 p.m. is not what you want. So we now have that locked in. So this is a good idea to put those due dates in. It's as easy as that. And uh, this way, when a student is uh, looking at their calendar, they'll have the ability to identify, uh, get a little heads up when something is due. The calendar will take every one of the classes that the student is rolled in and it will assign it a different color. So when you look at a student calendar, you'll have various uh, colored highlights in certain days of their calendar, and that means that there is something due on that particular date for whatever class is represented by that particular color. Now, something else that people don't uh, always understand is it's entirely possible for a student to submit things more than once or continuously. For example, in this particular case, this assignment is due December 3rd, 1159. Anytime before December 3rd, if a student were to submit an assignment, and let's say it was a paper, and then they realized on December 1st when they submitted it, they're like, uh-oh, I forgot to include my references on the bottom of that paper or at the end of the paper, so I'm going to put the references on my paper and resubmit. All they have to do is click on Submit Assignment and attach the new one. The new one overwrites the old one, and they will have uh, submitted uh, that item in time and prior to the deadline. Now, if you've already gone ahead and graded it, it's, it's a different issue, but you may have noticed already if a student turns in something beyond your due date, if you are using due dates, it'll actually color code that particular column area for the student to identify the fact that it is late. It's kind of like a peach color. Um, so if, uh, if they've turned it in late, you'll at least be notified. They still have the ability to turn it in late, and then you can put whatever comments and adjust whatever scores that you need. Now, if you have a no late policy, you know, then you can just overwrite and give the student uh, a zero right in that particular spot. But you may not know that even if it goes beyond the, the date of the deadline, students can still submit after the deadline. Well, maybe that's not anything that you want them to be able to do. So basically the same thing using your little calendar in this area available from and available until. Now I'm doing this in an assignment area, but you basically what you're doing here is you're saying that this item, whatever this item is, this could be something in, in the, as a discussion uh, area. You can actually make things available from and until in the announcements. You can get your announcements ready at the beginning of class and do this as well. I just happen to be showing it to you in this area, but so you can understand there's other places where you can take advantage of this tool. And so I can create uh, this item to be available from this date or whatever date I choose. Again, I have the ability to change the time slot here if I'd like to do that. And then it's available till. So one of the things I might want to do is if I do not want to, by any stretch of the imagination, accept late assignments, I could choose the due date. Come over here and grab December 3rd 
and say done and there we are. So what's going to happen is, is there is going to be a spot for the student to submit this particular assignment up until December 3rd at 11.59 p.m. After that, the student will not be able to submit. They will get a message saying that the, uh, I, I don't remember exactly what it is, but something like this assignment is already you know, due. There, you don't have the ability to submit the assignment anymore. It's not accepted anymore or something like that. I don't remember exactly what it says, but it does alert the student to the fact that they can't turn it in. Then that way that gets them to either email you or ask the professor link or what have you, and then you can make the determination if you want to accept it in another way. But that's the only way that you can really lock it down this way. The other thing that you could do, I'm going to go ahead and save and publish this. The other thing you can do for any particular assignment where you wanted the student to no longer have access is let's say this uh, assignment topic one here was an assignment that today was the last day. Tomorrow I can go in here and I can make this unpublished and then they're not going to be able to uh, see this particular assignment. So that's the, that's the other option as well. I'm going to go back to the home uh, page here and uh, show student view. And uh, course calendar here. So uh, any, if I was a student, of which I'm not, but if I was a student, I can actually take a look at various types of items here, and I can see that on the third I have an assignment uh, that is due, and I can get the details uh, of this uh, item here. Do 11:59. It's called practice one. Okay, so. Uh, that's uh, something that's nice if faculty do happen to take advantage of using the due date and they put the due date on all of the assignments in the class. Students that are in multiple classes, each class will show up in a different color. This happens to be the class that I'm in right here as the test student, and so that's why it shows up in green. There could be a red, a blue, a yellow, an orange, depending on the other classes that I'm in. So just wanted to point that out uh, uh, to you. And... Uh, there you go.